Last March, Darren and I got to go to Israel. You know, and of all places you can go, Israel's got to be one of the safest, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, anyway, probably... It the... is. <laughs> it isn't too bad, Brian. Okay, well, <laughs> well, we'll let that go a little bit today. <laughs> but, but what I wanted to talk about is we were at the Dead Sea. And if you're not aware of what the Dead Sea is, it is this body of water that's actually the lowest point on Earth. So if water gets into the Dead Sea, how can it possibly escape if it's the lowest point on Earth? Well, the only way it can is if it evaporates. Well, when it evaporates, what does it leave behind? Salt. So when I was floating in the Dead Sea, what was I thinking about? I was thinking about our farm. And why is that? Because I looked down in the Dead Sea and you know what I saw? Nothing. No plants, no algae, no fish, nothing. Everything is dead in the Dead Sea. Why? Too much salt. And the thing is, it's not just our farm that we're thinking about. We're thinking about a lot of farms all across the country and really around the world. When you get a problem area in your field where the water just doesn't get away, even if you aren't in a heavy rainfall area, if you've got a pocket in your field where whether there's compaction going on out there or something, or there's just a low spot that doesn't drain right, you're going to have problems with water getting away. You're going to have too much salt. Your pH is going to rise and pretty soon you're not going to be able to raise a crop there. So basically what we're talking about is in fields all across the country, we've got a whole bunch of little dead seas out there because we have too much salt. And too much salt kills crop, just like too much salt has killed everything in the Dead Sea. Nothing can possibly live because there's too much salt. We've got those same issues going on out in our field. So what we wanted to talk about during our Farm Basics time today is how we fix those problems. Well, the best way for a long-term fix is to get water to leave that area more quickly. So you have to put drainage tile in, a, basically a perforated hose beneath the ground so water can move down through the soil profile, filter out anything bad, and end up with pure water coming out through the pipe. That's the important thing, and you can do this yourself on your farm. But one of the problems with all this is a lot of farmers just say, well, I don't know exactly what I'm doing if I'm going to put tile in myself. I realize that I can probably save a lot of money if I do do it myself. And so what we've got going on on our own farm, we're going to have a day where if you would like to come to our farm and see what we're doing on our farm, talk to us and talk to some other tiling experts. We've got one day set aside for this this spring. It's going to be March 18th where we're actually going to talk through how you put tile in the ground, how you talk to NRCS and get approval on that side, how you talk to neighbors to get approval and work with them. So we're going to go through all the details, everything you need to know, start to finish on putting tile in on your farm. We started doing our own drainage tile installation on our farm a couple of years ago, and it's a job that we figure pays us well over $100 an hour. In fact, it may pay us $500 or $1,000 per hour. Now, I talked to another farmer not very far away from where we're at who bought his own drainage tile machine. He hires two guys to help him put the tile in because he's an older gentleman, doesn't want to do all the manual labor. And he said, you know what, even after I pay those guys in four weeks of work, this is my retirement job and it pays me $70,000 net. This is a really important job and it's really valuable because we aren't even talking about all the increased yield you could get by fixing those areas too. So if you're a non-farmer, we just wanted you to understand that the main reason why we need to put drainage tile in the ground sometimes is so we can prevent salt from killing our crops. It's actually a good thing for the environment too when we put drainage tile in if we do it right. Now if you are a farmer and you say, well I like to learn more about tiling, I'm not really sure if I want to do it myself, I'm not really sure if I need tile on my farm, then we would just encourage you come to our farm on March 18th, you can see exactly what we're doing, we'll run it through start to finish we just think that tile is one of the best investments you can possibly make on your farm, and it's an even better investment if you can install it yourself and you really know what's going on on your farm operation. Well, there are a number of positive benefits to drainage tile, but one of the things I wish it could do was help us control our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 